Mr. P's Science and Math Podcasts. For more science and math concepts, search me out on iTunes by typing Papa Podcasts. You can contact me at papapodcasts at gmail.com. Other Papa Podcast titles include Chemistry Podcasts, Math Podcasts, which look at quadratic functions, polynomials, trigonometry, linear mathematics, and physics podcasts. Thank you for watching. Calculating area and parameter using polynomials. So let's recall, area of a rectangle is length times width. So when, the exp when, the, when your question asks you to determine an expression for the area in terms of x, when we're given the following, we have to keep in mind that the equation for an area is equal to length times width. So our area is length times width. Here's our length, so we find our longest side of our rectangle, and there is our width. So what we're going to be doing is we're just going to be substituting the values of our length for our L and for our width W. So instead of L, we're going to put in not a number like we're used to, we're actually going to put an actual uh, polynomial type term. And the same thing goes with w. So instead of l, we're going to put um, the 3x plus 4. Instead of w, we're going to put in 2x minus 5. So we're going to substitute into l, substitute into w, and we're going to get a area is equal to our length, which is 3x plus 4, multiplied by our w, which is 2x minus 5. Remember, this used to be l, this used to be w. So what we have here is area is equal to 3x plus 4 times 2x minus 5. Notice here we have a set of binomials being multiplied by one another. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to need to FOIL first, outer, inner, last. Notice how we have a set of binomials being multiplied by one another. Therefore, you can expand it using the FOIL method. First, outer, inner, last. So what we have here would be 3x by 2x, which will give me 6x squared. We have 3x by negative 5, which will give me negative 15x. 4 multiplied by 2x, which will give me positive 6x. And lastly, 4 times negative 5, which will give me negative 20. So if we look at it, we want to collect our like terms. Our like terms are the terms here in the middle. So we have our expression, 2x, uh, 6x squared, okay, um, minus 9x, minus 20. So therefore, the area of the rectangle that we had on that first slide is equal to x squared, 6x squared, minus 9x, minus 20. So here's our area. Perimeter of a rectangle. Perimeter of a rectangle is P is equal to 2 multiplied by L plus W, or to make things a lot simpler, just add up all the sides. So P is equal to L plus W plus L plus W. So perimeter is add all four sides together. Whatever the sides are equal to, just add them together. So determine expression for the perimeter in terms of X. So we have our length, our width, our perimeter equation. P is equal to L plus W plus L plus W. So we're adding all the sides. We have two lengths, we have two widths. So P is equal to our L, which is 3x plus 4, plus our W, which is 2x minus 5, plus our L again, which is 3x plus 4, and finally our W, which is 2x minus 5. So here we have the, the expression as we wrote in, the, in, the, in this slide just a second ago. Because we are adding these lengths and widths terms, we can remove all the brackets. So we remove all the brackets and what we want to do is we want to collect like terms. Collect the like terms. So take the signs as well. So we have 
3x, positive 2x, positive 3x, and positive 2x. So those are like terms. And we're going to use circles to represent the other type of like terms. We have positive 4, negative 5, positive 4, negative 5. And what I like to do is I like to write, use symbols to designate the, the like terms. And then what I like to do is I like to collect them. Notice here I've collected everything I highlighted in blue and everything that I circled in red. I collected them. And all I do now is I simplify this here in blue, 3x plus 2x, which will give me 5x plus another 3x will give me 8x plus another 2x will give me 10x. So our expression simplifies to p is equal to 10x minus 2. So therefore, the perimeter of that same shape is equal to 10x minus 2.